are all aware, the county assembly passed our first supplementary budget late last month, and I'm glad to report that it has now been uploaded in the system, and we are now ready to roll out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to launch a very noble exercise that will go a long way in streamlining the management of the Bungoma County Education Support Scheme. The scheme, as you are aware, is governed by Bungoma County subsidiary legislation of 2019. The purpose of the scheme is, as, as per the legislation, is one, provide scholarship, and two, provide bursaries to students from Bungoma County. The legislation provides an expenditure allocation ratio between scholarships and bursaries in part two, section 7A, B, and C, which is as follows. And I want you to follow this clearly. A, bursary should not be less than 57% and not more than 87% of the total allocation. Scholarship should not be less than 10% and not more than 40% of the total allocation. The administrative expenses should not be more than 3% of the total allocation. From the legal reference, it is clear that the framework of the legislation purposes to have the bulk of beneficiaries from the scheme being on bursary and a lesser number on scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, the second very important part of the legislation is on the management of the scheme. The legislation provides for the establishment of two committees. One, at the county level called the County Education Support Scheme Committee, which is in part three, section 10. Two, at the ward level, the Ward Education Support Scheme Committee, which is in part four, section 12. The composition of the committees has, among others, respective chief officers, while the ward committees have five members, one being the ward administrator and the rest being strictly members of the committee.